uh, these group of young people lead efforts to reduce mental health stigma and to support peers who may be experiencing mental health challenges. This is really an impressive group of young people who've been doing amazing work to raise the bar for mental health awareness. Um, I'm going to turn it over to their adult advisor, Mr. Paul Mermingos, uh, who will talk a little bit more about them. Go right ahead, Paul. Thank you. Hi, it's actually not Paul, it's Monica Monroy. I am one of the advisors and I want to welcome everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, we just want to um, share with everybody all, all, this, all the amazing um, support that our club is providing for the school. And we just want to make sure that everybody knows that we're here, we're available. If anybody needs help with anything, any support so that you can open up your own NAMI club at the high school, it would be amazing. Um, it's, it's great for the students, especially right now with all of, all of these social emotional things that are happening around us. We just want to make sure that everybody is supported. So thank you everybody for coming and I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. We may need you to get yourselves uh, off mute, folks from NAMI. There you go. Okay. okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Shaylin Yang. I am president of NAMI Club. And I am Emily Avila, the vice president of the Central Grizzlies NAMI Club. So NOMI stands for the National Alliances on Mental Illness. And this is a picture of the back of our new club shirt. So NOMI Club's mission statement is, the purpose of this organization shall be to provide advocacy, education, support, and public awareness with the continuous goal to cease stigmas as it pertains to mental health. So this is our board. Um, we're gonna share an audio of our um, advisors. and I'm an intervention specialist at Central High East Campus. My interest in NAMI started about seven or eight years ago. I had a young man come into my office to talk about his grades and attendance. We also talked a little football since he was a football player at Central East. Unfortunately, that young man went home and took his life that night. It was a very difficult time in the Central community. I spent a lot of time searching for a way to help students that we might have missed, students that didn't know how to reach out or who to reach out to. I found a program called Be Strong, and we started a club. The club's mission was to go out and find those students that might be having issues, didn't know how to, to reach out for help, didn't know where to go for help. Um, about that time, Miss Monroy came to me and said, hey, I know you have this club. I found this other program called NAMI. We looked it over, we went to the training and NAMI Club Central High was born out of that. Our mission is to look for those kiddos <clears throat> that need a voice. Our goal is complete inclusion and fighting the stigma of mental health. Hopefully we'll continue to grow and be bigger and better as the years go on. That was Mr. Mermingos, our first club advisor. Our second one is Ms. Monroy. Hello, this is Monica Monroy. I am the school psychologist for the school. I see myself as an advocate for students and I try to apply my training and my experience to help students succeed academically, socially, behaviorally, and emotionally. I am collaborating with two amazing advisors and together we want to stop the stigma on campus and we also want to build connections between student staff and the community. We have amazing club members and we hope that our club continues to grow and affect the students in a positive way. 
And now we have Mrs. Duong, our third club advisor. Hi, I'm Victoria Duong, I'm the intervention counselor for Central East. I've been a counselor for 16 years. My purpose of my role is to promote and bring awareness to our school community and support a healthy mental health environment for students on campus. Over the years, I've worked collaboratively with students, families, and staff to build as many avenues for students to be able to express themselves and their mental health needs on campus. For the past year, I'm proud to be one of the advisor of Central NAMI for students on campus to be able to share their healthy mental health awareness journey with others. We strive on and work together to stop the stigma of mental health on our campus and in our community. And that was Mrs. Duong, our third club advisor. So um, I've been a member for an army club for about two years and I am now a senior in high school. And I am the vice president of NOM Club. Um, I have been a club member for two years and I am also a senior. Um, this is our secretary, June. She is um, uh, currently a junior now and is her second year in NOM Club as well. She is our secretary. And our co-secretary, Jasmine Mahi, is also um, a senior in high school and this is her second year as a member. Our treasurer, Avrin Carr, was, um, is also a junior at Central High School and has been a member for two years. This is our historian, Kong Lee, and he has been a member for three years, and he is also one of the founding um, club board members. And this is a social media manager, Kushpri Carr. She is a senior in high school as well and is, um, has been her second year in the club. So the beginning of NAMI on campus. Um, they first attended a training workshop at Washington Union High School in 2018 before even starting the club. So the club was actually started in March 2019. And it only started with a, um, a couple of board members and advisors, no club members. And they also did not have a social media presence at the time. As our club grew, um, some members started joining in 2019 and we started our social media presence as well that year. In 2019, that year alone, we gained more than 100 followers. We currently have 240 followers as of that day. Um, we currently also have more than 50 club members and we have set up training workshops with the NAMI Fresno affiliate staff. We have been recognized by NAMI Fresno and the Fresno County Department of Behavioral Health. So the NAMI organization, um, their mission statement is that NAMI provides advocacy, education, support, and public awareness so that all individuals and families affected by mental illness can build better lives. This started as um, a group of families in 1979 that grew into this huge and nation leading voice on mental health. And they are in alliance with 48 other state organizations who also work to raise awareness and provide support. So um, a statement from our NAMI um, Fresno representative, Chris Roop, um, is that NAMI Fresno is a local affiliate supporting Central's NAMI club. Our support to the club ensures connection to the community resources. It also provides the families and the, of the students and staff a direct resource of support. We were um, founded as a grassroots organization originally known as Family Alliance for the Mentally Ill using national NAMI curriculum and structure locally in the early 1990s, we officially became an affiliate. So why NAMI on campus? Well, NAMI started with two great ideas. We wanted to be proactive rather than reactive. The NAMI club promotes mental health awareness and our ultimate goal is to stop the stigma. So what is stigma? Um, stigma is the disapproval and discrimination against someone based on the character on their characteristics. Um, so something like if somebody discriminates you, if they're labeling you, um, telling you that you're um, useless, that you're, um, people shame you, calling you crazy, saying, you know, you'll be fine getting over it. Those are some examples of how people will use stigma against you. So during the month of May, um, we raise awareness for mental health. So um, during the month of May, our school does um, on, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, we have these, um, it's when usually the NAMI club goes out and we kind of do our survivor's wall, um, some games like scavenger hunts, um, the cornhole games, if you guys don't know what that is. Um, it's a really cool beanbag game that we get um, all the students involved in during lunchtime. And this was before COVID. So we would have these activities um, during the month of May during lunchtime on campus. 
So here are some pictures of the lunchtime game time that we would have during that month. You can see games like cornhole that students are playing around campus. So this is our survivor's wall, as I said before, in our calendar. Um, this is where a place where students and staff are able to go show their support for mental health and make a pledge. And they would put these pledges onto um, the wall that we had. And it started um, to make, um, we made us uh, kind of like words out of it saying, you know, stay strong. And, you know, this is not me. Um, they can also remember those who have lost their battle with mental health challenges. And these were also done at lunch, led by the club members and the advisors. So we also had a Department of Behavioral Health um, visit to our campus. And as you can see on the right, there's a picture of the Green Camaro where students can sign and sort of make a pledge for mental health awareness. So um, we, another game that we had uh, was scavenger hunt. So students would answer the questions that were um, pertaining mental health and um, that it was located all over the school and then the winner would get their choice of pizza or Gatorade. And these are some of the sample questions. So we would ask questions like, what is the percentage of students with a mental health condition that drop out of school? And we would have them write one emotional and one physical symptom of anxiety disorder. So this was all just to raise awareness for mental health and get that known around our campus, especially during the month of May. So as you can see here um, is when we had our mental um, health month scavenger hunts. And we had two different locations on campus because of how many students wanted to be part, part of this. So the one on the left is in the middle of the quad. It's an area where a lot of students pass by and we got a lot of outreach there, as well as the picture on the right, which is um, in front of our library where a lot of students went during lunch as well. So um, also during the month of May, we had these skits and these skits were when students of like a NAMI club, they would visit classrooms to perform these short skits pertaining mental health about someone in need. And um, they would provide informational pamphlets and resources to give out to the students while they were doing the skits. Um, and then there is a lot of our collaboration. Yeah, and one of our collaborations was with No More, which is another organization that helped raise awareness during this time and also participated in the skits, as well as our peer connectors on campus. So this is our NAMI Fresno presentation where our um, representative from NAMI Fresno, Chris Roop, came out and she talked to us about, um, you know, mental health and she was the one who kind of introduced me into um, be being like who NAMI was and this is kind of how I became part of a club member is because of this um, presentation where she explained and talked to many of the students about just mental health and what is stigma kind of what we're presenting today too. Yeah, and a lot of students were, um, whoever wanted to sign up was able to sign up and this um, presentation was taking place at the auditorium on our campus. So has, how has our club influenced other schools? Well, we have um, had leadership collaborations with um, Mendota High School at our school and um, we kind of helped them um, give them some ideas about what we do with our club and they shared ideas of what they do with their club as well. And our Central Nami Club um, were guest panelists at a workshop as well at the regional training that we had. Um, Central West, which is on our other campus, also started their own Nami Club. And so these activities were made just so we can all collaborate with each other, share ideas of what some of us do at our campus and what they do at their campuses and just help each other grow. And since we're the first club in the entire Valley, we wanted to share our experience with them as well and help our clubs grow to just raise mental health. So this is our visit to the middle schools. Um, so in the central area, we have about, um, we have three middle schools and we went to all of them. Um, we, NAMI um, began talking to the students and reaching out to the middle schools, teaching them about inclusion and fighting the stigma for not just for high schoolers or adults, but for all ages. Um, this was a huge turnout and so many of the students signed up. We have a lot of students that are freshmen now that we went to last year who joined because we went to their middle schools. Yeah, so the outreach was very successful. As you can see on the picture um, below, that is Glacier Point Middle School. And so many students came to our table because we had fun activities for them to do and just a lot of cool stuff. And they really liked it and we got them signed up for this year. So that's why we have so many club members now because of our outreach to our Peter schools. So reaching out to our community during COVID. Um, so I, I think at first it was really hard for us, but um, now that we're kind of more into it, we started this monthly mental health wellness bags. And in these bags, um, there's pamphlets from NAMI, um, pens and positive comments, notebooks. Um, we have like 
candy in their positive stickers and quotes from the teachers to the um just to give out to the community. So a lot of fun free stuff that we give out every single month, the first Monday, and it's just to reach out to our community. So they have um, a little piece of NAMI with them at home. So talking about the goodie bags, this is one of the ones that we have made. Um, we have, how Shaylin said, the squishy balls and a lot of resources in the back. And we also include um, some positive quotes that teachers have written for our students. So during these difficult times, they have some motivation with them. And as you can see here, we're packing the bags and this is when we distribute them and we also sell our shirts. Oh yeah, um, our shirts are right here. So we have these club shirts right here and then we have our yellow ones. Um, this one is for suicide prevention that we, yeah, it's really cute. And it's like a butterfly with a ribbon in the middle saying love and hope. And, and on the back, the back it's, it says, we are stronger together. That's kind of the message that we want to give out to everybody. We are stronger together, yeah. even during these difficult times. So talking about the positive quotes, um, as I showed before, this is one of them that the teachers write. And we have some other examples on the screen as well that teachers wrote on Google Slides. So we've done teachers to students, and we are working on students to teachers and students to students. So our NAMI Club members are working on writing positive quotes to our teachers and their fellow students as well. So we have this mental health first aid training that um, started in December of 2020 last year. Um, so about 12 students in um, the four advisors took part in an online Zoom training with representative um, Chris Root from NAMI Fresno. From NAMI Fresno. Um, so we learned about um, a resource using um, ALGI, which is assesses, listen, give resources, encourage professional help, and encourage self-help. So that ALGI acronym is basically um, a reminder that we can use when we find ourselves in a um, troublesome situation. And as trained mental health first aiders, we can use ALGI to help the person in need and get them the help that they need. So um, with that being said, um, with the members who were um, certified, we started the sharing circle. And this sharing circle started in February of last month, um, where we are inviting um, all central students, um, doesn't matter if you attended the, um, the mental health first training or not, um, any student of central is welcome to come. And they're um, kind of here to talk and vent about um, various topics that they're gonna have. Um, this is led by students that attended the first you that attended the first aid training in the previous slide. Um, and this allows us to navigate our peers through the rem rem through, oh my God, I'm sorry, through the remainder of school and uh, while listening to their stresses and challenges. So now that we're all trained, those 12 trained um, mental health first aiders, we want to put that to work and we wanted to create these surveys for everybody on our campus just to say, hey, we're here to help. You need help, fill out the survey and we will set up a meeting that um, creates a safe space where you can talk to us and we can help you with whatever you need. So we also asked some Central High teachers for their point of view on NAMI Club's impact. So we asked them three questions. And the first question was, how has NAMI impacted the school community, meaning students, staff, and families? Um, Mr. Balmano, our social science instructor, um, said that NAMI developed presentations um, that have been very helpful on Grizzly Connect dates. Um, more of these would be very awesome. Mrs. Rogero, an English and debate instructor said, NAMI has impacted our school community by advocating for students, staff, and families to express their feelings, to know that they are not alone in their experiences and that there are people willing to talk and support them. NAMI has helped to lessen the stigma associated with mental health. Um, Mrs. Vincent, or another social science instructor, said that NAMI has impacted the school community by providing an outlet for them. I really love how NAMI has an online presence and is constantly seeking ways to engage with the community. The second question we asked them was, how has NAMI impacted you personally? Um, Mr. Balmano said that reading positive comments from NAMI materials that were sent in by central staff has been very helpful. Mrs. Rogero said, I have been able to connect with the students and staff to support their mental health needs so that they can give their best in my class and in their own classes. It has also helped remind me that I have support when I need it. Um, Mrs. Vincent said that I love the purpose of NAMI and love that its mission is to educate the community about the significance of mental health. And the last question we asked them was, where did you first hear about NAMI? Mr. Balmano said that I first heard about NAMI a couple of years ago when the club was founded on our central east campus.
Mr. Rogero said, I first heard, of, heard about NAMI through Palmer Mingos and his own, and my own students who are involved in the club. Mrs. Vincent said that I have actually known about NAMI since I was in college, as I have a degree in psychology from Fresno Pacific. So that just shows how much um, our club has impacted them. And we wanted to hear a little bit about how they have felt about it. And the feedback was awesome. So um, as I said before, Mr. Bon, Mr. Balmano, a uh, social science instructor, um, he kind of talked about um, Grizzly Connection Days. So every Monday of um, we usually have a one hour class period and with, with these one hour class periods, we would have these um, Grizzly Connections. And this is kind of to talk about um, social and emotional learning weekly check-ins from the teachers. Um, and it talks about the zones of regulations and um, support services provided for students. Every Monday of every week. So we also had surveys sent to the teachers and students and we do these monthly and it's just to check in and kind of have um, a connection with them as well just to see how our community is doing and what we can do to make it better. So one of the questions that we asked in one survey was how has the last year of 2020 impacted you and as you can see on the pie chart it's very divided mostly somewhat good but you know because of these difficult times it's hard to have an awesome time so we want to create um, awareness and support and resources. So these tough times aren't as tough. And some winners of these surveys got um, a thing that we like to call a swag bag. So everybody who um, participated in the survey got a swag, um, got entered into a raffle to win a swag bag. And those swag bags include fun stuff like chips, a t-shirt, and some central gear as well. So we also had um, a resource um, poster sent out and um, we shared this on our Instagram as well as, as our school Instagram that has over 4,000 followers. And so here we just have a bunch of um, hotline numbers and resources that students can go to if they ever feel that they need help or if they are in a crisis as well. Um, this is our outreach video that we made for the, um, that was first originally for um, central students or just students in general or yeah, high school students, I'm sorry. And then uh, we added on to the video reaching out towards um, our middle school since we weren't able to go um, reach out to them this year as we did last year. So this is a video that we're gonna show you guys. And it was to promote like club days so they can join our club. Um. Hey Grizzlies, my name is Shaylin Yang and I'm president of NAMI Club. And my name is Emily Avila and I am vice president of NAMI Club. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. This is the front of our club shirts. And this is the back. You can buy them at the front office at East Campus for just $12. Did you know that the Central Grizzlies NAMI Club is the first one in the entire valley? Central Grizzlies NAMI Club is all about spreading the awareness on mental health and breaking the stigma. The lime green ribbon you see on our shirts and on this ribbon represent mental health awareness. Join NAMI Club and help us spread the awareness of mental health. And help us stop, stop the, the stigma. stigma. Join NAMI Club and stop the stigma. Join NAMI Club and stop the stigma. Join the NAMI Club and stop the stigma. Join NAMI and stop the stigma. Join NAMI Club and stop the stigma. I'm Shaylin Yang. And I'm Emily Ava. And, and we, we want, want you to join NAMI, NAMI Club. Club. Grizzlies. So the video that you guys just watched was the club day video that we had at Central High School. So, so now, now we're bringing it to you guys. So because of the pandemic, we weren't able to do freshman fairs at your guys' schools like we wanted to. So we're making this video. So we want to encourage you guys to check out our Instagram at Central Grizzlies NAMI for updates and news about NAMI Club. See y'all in high school. Bye! Bye. So that was our outreach video, first to our high schoolers and to our middle schools as well. So um, we asked teachers 
speakers how they see um, Nami Club um, impact our community. And we also asked our community how they see in, uh, our club impact and reduce the stigma on campus. So some things that they said was that the wellness bags, not only to students, but to the community around us. So the wellness bags are, are these. We used to call them grab bags, but now we are calling them wellness bags. Um, the Grizzly Connections, where we do social emotional learning, as well as the sharing circles that we're gonna be doing and are currently in the workings of with our mental health first aid um, trainees. And also the positive quotes from our teachers to students, the skit that we have done portraying mental health and survivor's wall where every student fills out a ribbon and puts it on the wall, as well as NAMI Fresno on campus. So how do we see the NAMI Club impact the school community? So um, we have the NAMI wellness bags that we talked about picked up by students and parents every month. So, you know, when usually when we pass it out, we see the same people coming back. And I think that that's a really big deal because, you know, they know that we're out there where they know that we're trying to um, reach out to the students and to them. Um, our NAMI shirts also promote mental health awareness. Um, many students um, have asked about our club. We get text messages saying, oh, how do I join NAMI club? How do I get those shirts? Um, even the families, central families are being provided with many mental health resources from NAMI virtually and in person. Um, we provide an avenue to reach out for support services through trusted adults on campus and throughout the Fresno community. So thank you all for joining us. Um, as you can see on the right is a picture of our Central Grizzlies NAMI Instagram, so make sure to go follow that. And we are Central Grizzlies NAMI Club. We are stronger together. Um, we also would like to introduce um, the NAMI Fresno representative, um, Chris Brook. And she would like to say a couple of words. Hi everyone. Um, I, this is a surprise, um, but I never miss an opportunity to be on camera <laughs> or be with this group of students. So um, I'm, I, I can't express to you, all of you how proud I am of the work that this school site does um, to reduce stigma and to raise awareness for uh, mental health, the importance of it. Um, it's programs like this that really give me hope um, that things are changing for our future. Um, we are normalizing the conversation of experiencing mental health challenges. We know they're common. We also know they're very treatable, but we need safe space to be able to open up about those things. We need education and we need support along the way. And NAMI, um, NAMI on campus clubs give us that opportunity and they give it to us early so that we can um, stay on the, the, inter the early intervention, the prevention side of things um, to live healthy quality, um, healthy quality life. So um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for these students. I'm grateful for an opportunity to always work with them. They're creative, they're kind, they're compassionate, um, things that all students are. Um, they just need a space to really thrive with that. Um, and the bonus of all of that is that we get to reach out into the community beyond the school campus. And that's one of the things that's so wonderful about having the local affiliate partner with the club and, and really stay connected is we get to take all this off of campus. And so our families have access to that support and education that's so needed at times when we really might not know what to do and we're not feeling our best and our students aren't, but are um, feeling their best with mental health. So I'm grateful. Um, and we're in our third year. Um, the momentum just keeps going. Um, and we've been growing um, in other school sites. And um, I'm proud because these students are really their, their mentors and leaders for other school sites to be able to bring this program on campus as well. So thank you, ladies, thank you. for the opportunity to share. And thank you for all following us. We already have 15 new followers. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, guys. Wow, thank you so much, um, Emily and Shaylin, uh, for sharing really the amazing work that you're doing. So inspiring, and um, I know that I would imagine, I know I'm excited, and I would imagine all the participants that we have are also really excited and inspired. Over 500 folks today. Um, so thank you for your work and for um, reinvigorating our commitment to working with young people 
um, in solving this, right? Um, I also just want to say, you know, uh, thanks to your high school as well, um, and go Grizzlies. Um, so uh, for anyone interested in the evidence-based uh, NAMI on campus clubs, here we'll have a couple of resources um, in our chat. And of course, uh, there's uh, in the slides that we'll send out, we'll also post those as well. Um, you know, the, the clubs were built off of NAMI's Ending the Silence school-based programs, which have shown positive results in terms of reducing mental health stigma and encouraging young people to, uh, to seek help when they're struggling. 